بسم الله السلام عليكم نبدا اليوم ان شاء الله في درسنا اليوم today we have unit 4 writing حيكون المنهج ميجا جول 3 للصف الثاني ثانوي اي right, خلينا ننزل على الصفحه تبعنا we have i think it's on page okay let's check and see ننزل الصفحه الصفحه حاليا في الستينات let's take 65 and see what we have yes okay all right now we did this yesterday ننزل تحت شويه Today, inshallah, we have writing. Now, in uh, the conversation, we talked about TV and television and what you can do in the programs of television. We did talk yesterday about the television and how it developed and the inventors that were responsible and the And today, inshallah, uh, we are talking. I did ask you for something. I asked you for something. You ask these questions to your friends, uh, to your family and uh, discuss a little bit about what you like and what you don't like on TV. Uh, um, hopefully, hopefully, can I start with a little bit what the people around you like on TV and what they don't. Okay, now today, inshallah, we have writing. Now, usually when you are watching TV, so I can movie, a film, or we can series, there is usually a story behind the movie or the film. Now, when you were thinking about stories, I am Zaman, my can TV, my can Netflix, my can YouTube, they usually had stories in books, in kutub. So, uh, some of the movies that we watch today, that we see, that we go to the movies and the cinema to watch, it could be based on a book. Assassin. So, today, inshallah, we are going to talk a little bit about how TV and books are so We have to talk about how TV and books are going to be used. Now, consider these questions here. خليف بالك. These are some of the uh, questions اللي حنسألها عن نوع ال ال البرامج أو ال programs that we see on TV. بعدين حنطبقها على كتاب أنت تحبي أو جربتي قرأتي من قبل. Consider the questions below. One, what is the genre of TV films? Genre. This is the word genre. Genre يعني نوع نوع ال ال الدراما, comedy, action. What kind of movie is this? Which one do you like to watch? What do you prefer? Ishtafadli, fantasy, comedy, drama, action, science. Number two, do you ever need to summarize a plot? Summarize is when you take all the information. It's like when you watch a movie and then taniyom you call your friend But you have to summarize. Now, you are going to summarize a little bit. Okay, for خلي بالك and when we're reading the book, so we know of a summarization or اختصار. And the information that we're talking about in the summary, حيكون ويشملوا هذه الأشياء. When you're summarizing a movie or a film, حتذكري what is the name. أكيد حتذكري the name of the film, the genre, زي ما قلنا drama, comedy, and the actors, مين الشخص البطل. And what else do you have? The information that you can find about the characters, setting, and the plot. Now, the character's شخصيات, setting, اللي هو the place, and the plot, اللي هي the story, الحبكة اللي موجودة. Now, how does this TV film compare to other films? كيف تقارنيها؟ أحلى, أسوأ, أطول, مشوق أكثر, حزين, كمال الفيلم سابق. Give me something to compare this movie to something else. How does it compare with the book? Now, another thing that we usually do, لما نشوف a movie, and we know that there was a book or a book or a book for this movie. A lot of people, they compare it. They compare between what they read in the book and what they saw on TV. Most movies are a little shorter than the book. A little bit more than the book. And they compare some of the information that are in the book. Because they can't put everything in the movie. All right. So, I always tell you, if the movie is not enough, or you feel like you want more, go read the book. Go read the book that relates to the movie. And you'll find more information. All right, the last thing is, does the writer of the review recommend this TV uh, film? Why or why not? هل الشخص اللي كتب لك أو حكاكي عن هذا الموفي, do they recommend it? عجبهم يقولوا لك اقرأي? Well, we'll see. إذا عجبهم بيقول لك yes. إذا ما عجبهم بيقول لك oh no, ما هو حلو, ما عجبني أو كذا. Now, keep in mind that when you're writing a summary على موفي أو على كتاب, you need to pay attention to the tense, الزمن that you're using, the grammar. And can it be past, can it be present, can it be future? على حسب. Are there any passive forms? ممكن نستخدم ال passive and مبني المجهول لما نكون ما نعرف من الشخص اللي سوى الشيء. And number seven, are there any paragraphs 
why and why not. هل نقسم the summarization ولا نخليه كله على بعض؟ Usually صح. You do have paragraphs ولازم تقسم شغلك شوي. All right. This is the example that you have in your book عن the movie that they want you or oh, they are writing about here في الكتاب. They are writing a summary. هذه كلها summary مكتوبة عندك جاهزة about this movie here. Now this is a, a movie called Moby Dick. Now Moby Dick is a classic. There's a captain here. There's some water here at the bottom. And uh, it's basically about this captain and a big, big whale. And there is a, a kind of revenge between them. Because at one point, this whale, which they called Moby Dick, he bit off the captain's leg. captain. The captain is very angry, he's very furious, and he wants revenge and to come from the whale himself. So the captain goes out to sea again and again and again, trying to capture the whale. Now, the ending of the story is pretty sad, but this is the summary that we have. Now, let's take a highlight on the summary that is present. You'll notice that, as we said in the beginning, you have the film. Of course, in the beginning, they're talking about the movie, and they're summarizing the movie. Okay? And إحنا بعدها حنسوي summarization للبوك. There's the name of the movie, تاريخه, مين المخرج, the name of the characters, الممثل, وكمان الشخصية اللي في الكتاب in the book itself. The setting, it's in the 19th century, قرن التاسع عشر in England. There is a ship, سفينة, captain. The name of the captain is Captain Ahab. So this is Captain Ahab. And then there's the great white whale. حطين الصورة, the whale, the hoot نفسه. And a little bit about the voyage. They are at sea. And he, they give you a few adjectives here, Sifat. The captain is obsessed, mahus, bil intiqam, with vengeance, bragbatu bil intiqam. And he makes some very bad decisions. Qararatu tkun ghair hakima, we tsebab fi mashakil kithir, bisabab al ghadab, that the anger that he has inside. Okay. It is a grand adventure. خلي بالك إنه هذا في نوع من الadventure أو الaction. It's not comedy, all right. And at the end here, حاطين لك رأي الكاتب في ال summarization. If you choose to watch this version, they're giving you the best version. شكلهم سووا أكثر من الفيلم. And they're giving you إنه this one here في 1956 أحلى نسخة من الفيلم هذا. All right. At the end, at the end, they give you a little recommendation. توصيات في الأخير. على what kind of book, uh, what kind of movie this is عشان الشخص اللي يبغى يشوفه أو لا uh, يشيك على هذه النقاط if he likes adventure, if he likes great battles قتال بين a man and a beast uh, you should actually, I definitely recommend it as one of the best very good alright, so this is a nice summary for the movie I want you to pay attention a little bit here to what we have uh, in this next page you'll see that they have a picture of the book and the question, oh, number B, or letter B here, is your activity. You will actually fill out all the spaces. Oh, blanks موجودة هنا. هذه أول خطوة. I would recommend أنصحك برضو إذا دخلتي online أو إذا عندك فرصة إنك تدوري على summarization حق موبي دك أو تشوفي الموبي إذا ممكن. You can actually go online and uh, look for the story or the plot of Moby Dick. From that. You will find all this information. And then we can actually write uh, the tale of Moby Dick here in a summarization. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the important things that we need. For this tale here, for this book here. Okay. Now, the title of the book, Moby Dick. I think I have it here on the PowerPoint. Yes, this would be easier. Let's do that. Yes, very good. So B, think of a book that you have recently read. Make some notes in the chart below. Now, للأمانة, كتابك يطلب منك إنك تختاري أي كتاب أنت حابة أي كتاب أنت طلعت عليه مسبقا وتطبقي عليه هذه المعلومات ومن ثم تسوين التقرير أو summarization for you. Now, عشان أنا ما أحوسك وأختار كتاب أنت ما تعرفي, I have decided قررت إنه I stick to Moby Dick. نفس الكتاب اللي موجود عندك في كتابك. We are going to talk about Moby Dick here again. So the title of the book, Land One, Moby Dick, موجود هنا. The author, المؤلف, Herman Melville, زي ما هو موجود عندك هنا, Herman Melville. Fiction, non-fiction. Now, when we talked about the genre in movies, 
We said, is it uh, drama? Is it action? Is it comedy? We don't use that in books. When we talk about books, uh, genres are usually fiction or non-fiction. Fiction, لما يكون شيء مؤلف شيء غير حقيقي وغير واقعي من خيال الكاتب أو ممكن يكون non-fiction. Non-fiction خيالي يكون واقع عفوا ما هو خيالي يكون واقعي زي مجلة زي جريدة زي مقال علمي مقال طبي. This is what we call non-fiction. لأنه مش من نسج الخيال هذا يكون واقع. So if we think about Moby Dick, Moby Dick كانت قصة خيالية. في تشابه بسيط بينها وبعض الأحداث اللي حدثت في ذاك العصر ولكن هي في الواقع إذا it's an imaginary tale ألفها ميلفيل من من خياله. So we're going to say fiction لأنها خيالية ما هي حقيقية. حنحط هذا هو الجانرا أو النوع حق الرواية. Number three. One, two, three, four. Information about the characters, معلومات, on the characters, شخصيات, the setting, نفس المكان اللي صارت في الحكاية, the plot, الأحداث, الحبكة اللي صارت, وأي معلومات تانية, etc., etc., etc. ممكن تضيفيها عشان تعرفي القارئ بتقريرك عن هذا الكتاب. Now, information بسيط عطيتك كم نقطة. Moby Dick, اسم الحوت أو اسم the whale, الحوت اللي كان the captain زعلان أو angry with. Uh, the name of the captain, اسم الكابتن, Captain Ahab, okay. The sea, the sea, البحر, هو كان setting, هو كان المكان حق الأحداث. And revenge, البلوت والحبكة كان الهدف منها revenge, اللي هو الانتقام. خلي بالك هذه الأربع أشياء لما تكتبي تقريرك. Number five, comparison and contrast. قارني بين هذه القصة وهذا الكتاب between something, another book. All right. لو أنا بقارن وبميز Moby Dick, I will say, it's full of suspense. في إثارة, suspense. Revenge, انتقام. And moral at the end. وفي حكمة في نهاية القصة. فيميز Moby Dick هذه الأشياء. Alright. Number six, would you recommend it? تقترحيها? Yes or no? راجع لك تكتبي في تقريرك. Yes, I do. Oh, no, I don't. براحتك. Uh, who should read the book? مين المفروض يقرأ Moby Dick? Someone, أنا أقترح وأقول, Someone interested in literature, بل أدب. Oh, someone interested in novels, بل روايات. And, the سؤال الأخير, who would like it and why? مين بيحب حاجة زي موبي ديك ككتاب? And why? ليش? I think someone who loves adventure, المغامرات. Somebody who loves strong characters, الشخصيات القوية. I think these, this is something that you could write. ممكن تكتب في تقريرك بخصوص. The person who would like or enjoy موبي ديك. Yeah. Let's go down and see what we finally wrote. التقرير النهائي عندنا. Use the organizer to outline the major three events. ثلاث أحداث مهمة حدديها في القصة. And حطي ليها in your summarization تقريرك. But try not to give away the ending. A lot of people don't like to see the ending. يحبوا يرجعوا بنفسهم يشوفوا the ending. إذا قرأوا بنفسهم الكتاب. All right. And now آخر شيء. Write your book review. All right, let's see. This is an example of a book review. هذا ممكن يكون مثال على writing أو التعبير اللي ممكن يكون مطلوب منك. إنك تكتبي book review, book review على Moby Dick as a story or a novel. كده واي. All right. أول سؤال كان أو أول نقطة لازم نغطيها اسم الرواية والمؤلف. Sentence number one. All right. Moby Dick is an American novel by Herman Melville. غطينا اسم الرواية and we covered the name of the writer. المؤلف نفسه. Number two, talk a little bit about the plot. نتكلم شوية عن ال plot. It is a fictional, زي ما قلنا الجانرا. إيش نوعها؟ هي مؤلفة، هي خيالية. Novel, رواية about a ship, سفينة, a captain, حقه الكابت حقها الكابتن and a large white whale. والحوت اللي موجود. القصة باختصار. Captain Ahab, اسم الكابتن, is on a quest. في رحلة مغامرة to capture the يمسك أو يصيد this whale called Moby Dick. فعرفنا من هنا إنه Moby Dick هو اسم الويل اسم الحوت. The captain is angry and full of hate. زعلان غضبان consumed by hate. يأكل الغضب اللي هو فيه. He wants revenge. يرغب الانتقام against the whale ضد الحوت because it bit off his leg. لأنه أكل رجله في رحلة سابقة. 
ذا اند اوف ذا ستوري از ساد المفروض ما نقول الاند بس ليش لا ممكن تقولي لانه الكتاب اصلا مذكور في كتابك انت The end of the story is sad, hazin, because the captain and almost everyone on the ship are killed by the whale. يعني في الأخير يفشل الكابتن وما بدك يقتلهم تقريبا كلهم. The book is intense, حماسي جدا, full of suspense, في نوع كثير من الإثارة. هذه من النقاط اللي نذكرها في المقارنة بين هذا الكتاب وغيره. And في النهاية فيها moral وفيها حكمة. The moral at the end is revenge is ugly. الانتقام ما هو شيء جميل and can lead to death. ممكن يسبب الوفاة في الأخير. نعم عشان تقترحي لأحد إنه يقرأ الكتاب أو مين ممكن يعجب هذا الكتاب نصيحتك النهائية تبدأيها بأي لأن هذا رأيك الشخصي ممكن ما ينطبق على غيرك. I would recommend أقترح إنه يقرأ this book to anyone who loves classic stories يحب الكلاسيكس قصص الكلاسيكية اللي تكون about strong characters شخصيات قوية and the sea. نعم يفضل تدربي شوية على هذا التعبير تألفي غيره على كتاب أنت حبيتي والمعلومات هنا او الخطوات موجوده في الشريحه اللي قبلها. بالتوفيق وشكرا جزيلا.